Okay, this is English 101, week 12, part 5. Um, and I am in paragraph 6 of the Eric Fromm, which is the first, the second full paragraph on page 2. Okay, let's do this. So, so Fromm thinks if people obey orders too much, we're all going to die. That's a strange thing to say. Because um, usually people are like, these people are being disobedient, they're going to ruin everything. So it's interesting that he thinks like obedience is the problem, because again... People that give orders, bosses, parents, priests, lords, kings, they all think obedience is good and disobedience is bad. Fromm disagrees. He thinks obedience is bad. That's the second thing he thinks. So let's take a look at why he thinks that. I'm, on par I'm in paragraph six here, um, a couple of sentences in. There is the possibility, or even the probability, that the human race will destroy civilization and even all life upon Earth within the next five to ten years. This was written in, like, 1980, so that didn't happen. But people were really worried about it. I grew up then, and I'll tell you, I was worried about it, and I still am. Uh, and I'll talk about why in a second. Um, so what is he talking about? He says, there is no rationality or sense in it. Meaning it doesn't make sense, but it's still going to happen, he thinks. The fact is, this is one of my favorite sentences in the whole thing. I really, I really enjoy this next sentence in paragraph six. The fact is, while we are living technically in the atomic age, the majority of men, people, the majority of men, including most of those who are in power, still live emotionally in the Stone Age. That while our mathematics and astronomy and the natural sciences are of the 20th century, most of our ideas about politics, the state, and society lag far behind the age of science. Okay, kind of a complicated sentence, but it's actually not that hard to understand. I'm going to read a little bit again. The fact, while we are living technically in the atomic age, meaning with technology, it's like the, is the atomic age, meaning post the nuclear bomb's been invented and we have all these cool inventions. While we are living technically in the atomic age, the majority of men, including most of those who are in power, still live emotionally in the Stone Age. So what's the atomic age? The atomic age is everything after the atomic bomb was invented in 1945. It's the, when you think about the atomic age, you're thinking about scientific inventions. You're thinking about vaccines. You're thinking about bombs. You're thinking about commercial air travel. You're thinking about the internet. You're th right. You think you're, it's, it's inventions. Like we, that, that's what he's talking. We have, we have so much technology and it's so advanced and they call it the atomic age because like Things are being amazing in society because we've invented all of these, this great stuff. Um, and most of my students are very quick to tell me that modern life is better than it used to be because of all the technology. That, that they didn't used to, we have iPhones now and they didn't used to have that. And so life now must be better than it was then. That's what my students believe. It's what most, a lot of young people believe that. Um, although, by the way, who told you that? Was it the people that invented all the technology? Was it, who told you the iPhone was so great? Was it the Apple company? Uh, um, I mean, I, I like the iPhone too, but um, I think Eric Fromm's point is just because your gadgets are better, just because your inventions are better, doesn't mean your society is better. Um, so he says, I'm going to read the sentence again because it's my favorite. While we are living technically in the atomic age, the majority of men, including most of those who are in power, still live emotionally in the Stone Age. So he says the problem is, you know, what's the Stone Age? The Stone Age is like cavemen, Neanderthals. You know, long, long time ago, way before Plato, um, before anybody was writing things down. You're talking way earlier than Plato. You're thinking guys living in caves and, you know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so he says, while we are living technically in the atomic age, technically there means in terms of te our technology is advanced, the atomic age. But he says that the emotions um, is, are still in the Stone Age. Well, what are stone, what, what, what are the emotions he's talking about in the Stone Age? Fear. He's talking about fear, hatred, and anger. Um, so his point here is that, and again, he's trying to explain why it is that obedience might be a bad thing. And the reason he thinks obedience is a bad thing is because while we, our technology is very, very advanced, and it is, he's right. We do amazing things with technology. Um, he says, while our technology is very, very advanced, the emotions we're working with are very, very primitive. Because uh, nuclear weapons are new. I mean, they're, they're not, they're 1945 new. But anger and hatred and fear, well, that goes back to cavemen. That's been with us for tens of thousands of years. That's way before Plato. Um, so, hey, what, what is his point? His point is that that's a dangerous combination because we were like, oh, we live in such an advanced society. But whenever people say our society is so advanced, they're talking about that technology. 
I'm not talking about the emotions. The emotions are not advanced. Fear and hatred and anger are not advanced. Uh, we're not better at dealing with anger, hatred, and fear than they were back in caveman days. I mean, I guess we're a little better because we got therapy, but like, it's not great. You still see a lot of very angry people. You see a lot of very scared people. And you see a lot of people with hate in their hearts. And I don't really think it's... And, and here's the thing. We'll go, well, but the technology's better. The technology's better. The technology's better. So it must be better. Here's the problem. Um, if the emotions aren't better, if people still... Again, because he said we're living technically in the atomic age, but emotionally in the stone age. And he says it's the people in power that are living emotionally in the stone age. Um... So you, people, oh, life is better now because of technology. Well, if the emotions aren't better, if people still have hatred and fear and anger, then the technology actually makes it worse. Why? Because back in caveman days, if you are feeling angry or you are feeling, if you're feeling anger or hate or fear, you might freak out and hit somebody with a rock. Kill them. In modern day, in the modern day world, if Donald Trump, and again, I know Donald Trump's not president anymore, but this was something I was concerned about when he was, but imagine the president of the United States has anger and fear and hatred. Well, when he gets mad, he doesn't hit somebody with a rock. He pushes a button, and a nuclear bomb comes out and kills lots of people. And when the nuclear bomb lands on, say, Russia, which was the concern when this essay was written and my concern growing up, then Russia's going to be like, well, shit, if they're hitting up with nuclear bombs, we're going to hit them with nuclear bombs. And they hit a button. And then suddenly, all life on Earth is wiped out because these guys over here shot nuclear weapons and these guys over here shot nuclear weapons back. And then we uh, killed all life on Earth. The technology was advanced. Awesome. But the emotions are primitive. And now every single human being on Earth is dead. Now, this is, was more of a concern back in the 1980s because um, that was the time period when this was written, was when America was building lots of nuclear bombs and Russia was building lots of nuclear bombs and everybody was worried that if somebody fucked up, one nuclear bomb goes and then the other country's like, oh shit, there are nuclear bombs, we'll hit them with more nuclear bombs and the first group is like, oh shit, we, should, we accidentally fired one bomb, we better fire them all or we'll die and then everybody on Earth dies. Um, it's, we don't talk about nuclear weapons anymore, but they're still there. We still have lots of them. They can still go off and kill piles of people, and it's it's not great. Um, now we now we but now we think about it in terms of say climate change. We have all this great technology, but it's polluted the world, and the pollution's going to cause everybody to die if we keep obeying. Is Eric Fromm's point? So let's find out why he's talking about obedience in these terms. Um. So he says, if mankind commits suicide, meaning if everyone on earth dies, if mankind commits suicide, it will be because people obey those who command them to push the deadly buttons. And again, he's thinking about nuclear bombs, but you might think about it in terms of pollution. If we just keep obeying the bosses who run the factories and polluting the world, everybody will die. Um, if mankind commits suicide, it will be because people who obey those who command them to push the deadly buttons, because they will obey the archaic, that means very, very old, um, archaeology is the study of old things. So archaic means old. The archaic passions of fear, hate, and greed. Oh, I forgot greed. Greed's another one of those old feelings. It's still with us, causing all kinds of problems. Even though we have fancy technology, greed is a lot. Uh, you, can do, you, can, you can do worse with greed, given all this technology. You can steal from more people. Caveman days, you can just steal somebody's stick. But now you can reuse computers to really ruin their whole lives and steal every penny from them. Um... Because they will obey obsolete cliches of state sovereignty and national honor. Meaning, well, America's my country and we have to defend it no matter what. That's like a very caveman way of thinking, Eric Fromm thinks. Um, and so we gotta push this button and shoot all the nukes out. But it'll kill everybody on Earth. Doesn't matter. Honor's at stake. That's what he's concerned about. Um, the Soviet leaders, that's Russia, that's what was the big deal back then. The Soviet leaders talk much about revolutions. And we in the free world, quote unquote, that's what people call us, talk much about freedom. Yet they and we discourage disobedience. The Soviet Union explicitly and by force, and in the free world implicitly and by more subtle methods of persuasion. So his point is, is that, that he's, thinking, he's talking about Russia and the United States, but his point is that, look, both of those countries say they're big on freedom, um, but both of them really want people to obey. Countries like it when citizens obey. Leaders want people to do what they say. And Eric Fromm thinks this is going to be a problem because at some point, one of those leaders has all kinds of advanced technology, but very primitive caveman emotions, and he's going to get scared or have hatred or anger or greed and say, fire the nuclear missiles, and it's going to kill every single person on Earth. Or keep making those factories pump out pollution, kill every person on Earth. So he thinks if people keep obeying, 
we're all gonna die. I'll see you in the next video.